Welcome to my live. I'm Creative Sarah, in case you didn't know. And um, today I have a big, fun project for you. It's gonna involve some painting, it's gonna involve some hot glue, it's gonna involve chalking, all of the above. So today what we're gonna do is this really cool spring transfer. It's called Plant Dreams Flower Packets. I'm just gonna show you. There are six different flower packets, okay, that's gonna happen. And then um, says plant dreams, pull weeds, and grow a happy life. But this is just part of our journey today. Um, so I'm gonna set that aside until we're ready for it. I have a big project. So thank you so much for joining, welcome, and check this out. That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do except not that. <laughs> All right, so I have this giant canvas, 16 by 20 inches, regular stretched canvas, um, open back, so that will be important. But what we wanna do is, we wanna kinda paint this, um, kind of a neutral-ish, uh, with like a like a kind of an aqua-ish, greenish, grayish color. So what I did is I, I took some water, I put it into my cup. This is called Seaside Villa, okay? That's the color name, um, Seaside Villa, and I'm just kind of mixing it up with the water. I'm gonna do kind of an ombre on this. So you gotta kinda watch what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of that onto my brush. And I'm just gonna start going back and forth up here. So it's definitely kind of like a couture teal color. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more on my brush. I want lighter up at the top, darker down towards the bottom. And it's not, it's it's meant to look more like a watercolor, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit of a thicker row here. And then I'm going to start adding in some gray. So I have my gray paint right here. This is called Parisian Gray, and I'm just going to kind of add a scoop um, into this water mixture already. Whoops, got a little bit of that on the edge. Okay, no problem. Set that aside. And so now I'm going to mix this up with the gray. So it's going to kind of have a different color consistency. Maybe, yeah, that gray is gonna like gray out the color. So it'll be just a little bit like more of a milkier tone. If I had, like I might add a little bit of a darker gray in here actually, cause I kind of want, let me do that. I have this castle gray. Maybe I need a little bit of that in there. Just a teeny tiny dollop. Put a little bit of that. We'll get our we'll get our color that we want. No worries. So I'm gonna start now. I'm mixing that as well. And I'm just using a plastic knife. You can use a plastic knife or a spoon to kind of get that color. I think a little bit more of this dark color will do. I don't need too much. Let me use that knife to get it off of there. Okay, all right, I think this will be it. This will be the ticket. There we go. 
So it's definitely coming up a little of a dingier, like a dingier color. So awesome. Which is what I want. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of dip in here. Oh, there we go, yes. That dingier color, it's a little more green. And I'm gonna like ombre it up here. Okay, go a little bit more down here. So that we're a little bit darker at the bottom. Blend it in the middle and lighter and brighter at the top. You wanna kinda of get those edges. If I see any lines, I'm trying to smooth them out. Okay. There we go. All right, so let me hold this up for you so you can see what I did. Solo. Um, there you can see the whole thing. So it's kind of like an ombre. And uh, let me set this aside. It will dry very quickly, very quickly. And we're going to paint the other, these little ovals that I'm going to be using on the... Um, on top of that. So these are gonna be this nice gray washed color, okay? So they're gonna be on top. And you can really cover this with your, um, let me grab a glove for myself. <clears throat> you can really cover it because it soaks in. These little discs are pieces of wood that I found at a local discount store. And <clears throat> this is what they're like. They were 97 cents. Um, local discount store starts with a W. Um, and I'm just gonna go around the edges. And as it dries, you're gonna start to see the grain of the wood pull up, okay? It is not gonna stay that solid color, I promise. So this, the water in here, the water in that pink color is the Parisian gray, FYI. So there you go. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I've lost track of what day each video is going to. I don't even know what day it is. I'm having some fun in the sun. I may be in Puerto Rico. I may be in Tortola. Maybe it's St. Thomas. I don't even know. Maybe it's the Bahamas. Who knows? Or maybe it's a sea day. Maybe we are just having fun on the ship. But regardless, I made you a faux fake live. Love my fake lives. All right, and we did no skimping. I, I did not do like the quick and easy one minute live video. I am doing full on projects for you to love, enjoy, and um, they are a little quicker because I don't have any conversation. However, that will, that is okay. Because I can do this without just kind of giving you the gist of it. All right, so as those dry, I'm gonna set this aside and let these dry. You're gonna see the, um, you're gonna see that uh, grain come out and it'll be a nice gray color. So I think I can take these off because we're gonna start to, I'm gonna kind of dry this a little bit and um, let me, I'm gonna remove the paint so that I don't knock it over, or, you know, so that nothing crazy happens. There we 
we go. All right, move this paint out of the way. I'm racking up a bunch of paint over here, y'all. Okay, got a lot of paint with the projects this week. It's our spring theme, so this is day two of, it might be day three, gosh, I don't even know. Okay, of a spring theme. So these are drying. You can speed up the drying with some sort of hair dryer or craft heater, doesn't matter whatever you want and then I'm going to do a little waxing on it if I hold this up you can see the wood grain shows through so that's really cool <laughs> okay get that let me grab all right, this is still drying a bit, so we're going to go ahead and um, wax, and we'll get our transfer all ready to go. Dropped my dryer. Okay, so this is a rather large transfer. It's an E size, so E size is our biggest transfer, and this is a really cool one because it has so many pieces. So like you don't need to make something huge with it. You can easily um, make little things too. I actually have a couple ideas for this particular transfer set. So we're gonna be doing this on the canvas. And then um, we're gonna do, let's see. Definitely, I don't think we're gonna do the zinnia, but I think for sure the dahlia. Love me some dahlias. So I'm gonna set this one aside. Um, I don't think we're gonna do silene or silene. Gallardia, Gallardia, maybe. Bird's eye, allium. I don't think I'll do allium. Let's do this bird's eye. That looks really cool. All right, so we're gonna do those three flowers, flower packets, I should say. And I'm not gonna use this base. I could, but I'm not going to. Like I could put this on here and do it in white and then do the other steps so that it has a white background. I think I'm gonna be fine with the background that we have right here. Should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside. And I love checking out what they really look like. Bird's eye. Um, seed packet. Did you ever do that? Just like Google a picture? Okay, so it looks like purple. So we're going to do a little purple on there. Okay, so these, I think Wisteria, our new purple, is going to be beautiful. Um, and then we're going to grab our Regal because it actually has like an ombre look to it. So I'm just gonna kinda do this with white and then that purple color here. So I'll show you what it looks like. I'll take the middle one, I'll get out my wax. I'm waxing this because of the way, um, let me see. Okay, I gotta open this. I'm waxing it because it's raw wood, it's not finished, so this is putting a little finish on it so it doesn't totally mess with my transfer. If I could write 
S. E. Johnson a quick letter and tell him how awful this container is, how it doesn't open properly, and how awful the stuff smells. I would. Are you guys sick of me complaining about it yet? I don't recommend that wax. There's lots of other brands of wax that you can use. So what I love about this and Chocotour in general, this flower, these two flowers are labeled F1 and F2. That means you place number one down first and then you do number two over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, I'm gonna label these with my Sharpie. So we're gonna go ahead and make this a one and put the back on there so I know. We'll make this two and put on the back. Okay, so I'm gonna place this down kind of in the middle. And I'm gonna do, there are uh, little registration marks. I'm going to do this in our white, bright white chalk paste. So let me stir this up. Always want to stir up the chalk paste before you use it. Okay, and I have my little squeegee here. I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole thing. including those registration marks so that it lines up and then I can erase those registration marks at the end. All right, so there's the beautiful background of the bird's eye. Number one, we need to dry this so then I can do that second layer And I'll show you how it lines up with the little registration marks and all is well with the world. Okay, now we'll do number two. No, I probably should fuzz this. So let me fuzz it because it's going over chalk. You always want to fuzz. If you're doing a layer, you always want to fuzz that second. Okay. And I want to line it up with the registration marks. That looks pretty good. What I'm going to do, I've got my wisteria here. Need to stir it up. There we go. This is one of our brand new colors. If you haven't gotten this yet, it's beautiful. And then this is our regal, which is our darker purple. And There we go, we've got both of those going. Now, I'm gonna need a tiny, I'm gonna use our multi-tool, and I'm gonna place the wisteria on here in a pattern. And then we're going to, um, ombre it with the darker. Okay, so we got that all good. I will wipe this off and I'll go ahead and use the same thing for this. And I'm just gonna dab it around the outside and just kind of move in towards the center with it. And 
And then comes the magic part. I'm gonna take this away. And I'm just going to blend with my finger a little bit. And we'll see how that, oh, perfect. I know it's hard to see from back where you are, your view, so I will hold it up after I get that purple off my finger. Um, and you can see the ombre. I'm gonna wipe off those registration marks. You can kind of see that right there. Uh, here we go. I'm just using a disinfectant wipe. Got those registration marks. Now I'm gonna set this one aside, okay? Awesome. Now we'll do our next one. I will go back in with this and get it waxed. Okay. We're not going to use purple for our next one. What color do we want our dahlia to be? You know what I'm saying? They can be almost any color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do, oh, let's do some pink grapefruit. I really think that will be pretty. I just need to find it. Here it is. Okay, so we got our pink grapefruit. We gotta cut this, label it and cut it. So we're on to three and four. Three and four. And then cut it out. Here we go. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So this is number one, which we're going to do in white. Super easy. Okay, then make sure to get those registration marks so that I can line it up. I think we'll do a little of the pink grapefruit and a little yellow in there. So we gotta dry this. Let me get it dried. So if you guys are new in here, I want you to be aware that I have a really awesome customer group. There was a lot of ideas and inspiration in there as well as specials and bundles and things that are very um, uh, specific to me as a designer. So a um, lot of opportunity for you guys to check out stuff. Type add me in the comments if you're new and you're not yet a member of the group. Make sure to get in there. Um, okay, so we are gonna put the backer on here. Whoopsies. All right, and we're gonna line up our targets. Perfectly. There we go. And drop. You know what? I forgot to, um, I forgot to, uh, what do you call it? I forgot to wax it, but it's going to be okay. Butter, milk, daffodil. Let's use our daffodil. Okay, I need to stir this. I think it'll go really well. Oh, this is beautiful chalk. Okay. Let's use daffodil. On kind of the inside. And then let me work its way out. Scoop that up. Okay. And then we're going to do the pink grapefruit and kind of ombre it up. 
So here we go. Whoops, got a little yellow in there. It's not what I wanted. Okay, now let me show you how we're gonna blend right there with our finger. I'll blend that too. And then peel it up. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to hold it up to show you. My goodness gracious. This is gonna be fabulous. Okay, can you see? Isn't it pretty? You guys, daffodil and pink grapefruit go well together. All right, so here we have two done. And they are looking mighty fine, mighty fine. Last flower is our Gallardia. I have no idea what that is because, gosh, I have no idea. So I just Google it. Gallardia. Oh, wow. They have a lot of like deeper color in the middle. See that? And then yellow on the outside and a little pink, like a red pink and a, all right, so let's get this started. I'm sure there are other varieties, but you know, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Five and six. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Hope you guys are enjoying this project. We'll do white. Oh my goodness. And we will get the little registration marks. There we go. Scrapey scrape. Okay, and peel. Awesome, that looks good. Now, dry and our last layer with our colors. I'm gonna have to get out a little red, a little darker, maybe a little current jam for you. It's one of my favorite reds because I'm not really a red, red person. Current jam, perfect. That is not dry. So, don't be lax on your dry. Oh, I forgot to wipe off the um, marks on this other one. Let me do that real quick. much better. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the purple. So I'm not sure what color. Gosh, I don't like that you aren't here with me in real life because I can't ask you what color to use. Probably going to do just a dark color for our words. We'll see when we get it close up how it looks. Okay, line up our There we go. Awesome. So now we need a little current jam. Got to stir. I've run out of stir sticks. I'm using so many today. Holy mackerel. All right, so we're going to do, let me open that up one more time. All right, so current jam and then a little pink. Just kind of spread that out there. Then we need 
need some of our pink, but this is not really spreadable. So let me, let me scrape this off. This is pretty spreadable, okay? And then, okay, let's set that aside and we'll get our yellow for the tips. Now, I'm going to go around and do that, and that, oh, it's beautiful, so pretty. Let me hold it up for you so you can see it. Try off my hands. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now we have all of those. I'm not going to use the white. When I set them on the thing, I'll try to figure out what color I want to use. I'm not sure it's going to be, just not sure. Let me clean this up. Okay. I'll bring this over. So much stuff to clean up. Okay, we're gonna put the purple in the middle. Okay, so here we have this. And then we're gonna do the color. Um, I'm thinking should it be the purple because it's darkest? Or I could pull in the gray and do storm. I'm not wanting to do the red. Maybe storm would be good. Just cleaning this up so that I can. I'm gonna put a little, put a little moisture in there. Oops, a daisy. Okay, let's get this clean, and then I will get that um, that storm, which I think is gonna look good. soon as I can find it. There we go. Here we go. I think I think it'll look pretty cool. So when we put this down, I'm going to show you what you need to do. Um, I'm going to move this over so y'all can see. And I am going to measure end of the S. Let's measure from the end of the line. About six and a half. Okay, so it needs to move over this way a little. The line six. Still a little more. Centering is not my thing. A little less than six. Perfect. All right, so we need to press this down, but notice there's no nothing under there that is making it um, really sturdy. So I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take this mat, which will probably be good, and I'm going to, I have it folded, I'm going to stick it under in that open space. Okay. Oh, perfect. 
So that mat folded in half worked really well. Um, just to kind of get up under there. I'm gonna go ahead and open this and get it going. Sometimes it's hard to keep your transfer stuck to the, um, uh, what's it called? The canvas. <laughs> so um, you wanna hold it in place. Just because canvases are bumpy. Just like burlap is bumpy. Fabric can be bumpy, so we just want to be careful. All right, that looks good. So let's peel. And there's no waxing a canvas. You don't need to wax a canvas or fuzz. You don't want to fuzz it because, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's get this in the water. That chair just spin, spun around on me and touched me and I almost jumped. Almost. All right, so let me wipe off these registration marks really quickly. And we need to assemble this. And so we need to have the hot glue ready, the glue gun. So I have that. While I'm waiting for the glue, I'm going to dry this. And I actually think I want to do something um, with these. I actually think I would like to paint the edges a little darker. So I'm going to grab the castle and let's see if we can do that with a um, a little paintbrush let let me see if I ruin it I ruin it but it's got this little edge is it showing up a little darker yeah it is Just kind of painting the edge a little darker. Kind of like, almost like a distressing, because it's not going to be perfect. Because, hello, my hand's not perfect. But I think it will be okay. Almost like I could sand it when I'm done to make it really look distressed. Here we go. So that's a little with that. I do. I like it with that like darker edge. Kind of st stands out more. Okay. So we'll do that for the rest of these, and then um, get them glued down. I think that's going to be my best bet. I'm not sure though. You might be like, oh, Sarah, that's not going to work. But we will see. Um, hope y'all are having a great day. This is turning out to be a pretty long life. It's a big undertaking, this little project I've got going. Okay, so let's get these finished and by the time I finish this that hot that glue should be nice and hot okay Ooh, I got a little that's all right you can kind of be messy with some of this because it doesn't have to be perfect just wanting and it kind of blends in anyway but 
giving it a little darker edge kind of makes it look a little bit older, distressed, all of those things. Okay, so there we go. I want that to dry. And I will clean up my brush. Okay. Oh, and I totally, totally just got my hand full of paint. That is no good for my nails. You guys know that. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and dry these. And then we'll see what we can do with our sanding block. Humdrum, humdrum. If you are, um, if you didn't know this already, we have an amazing subscription program and the subscription program actually is our preferred customer program. So if you um, haven't known about this before, you can sign up. If you type club in the comments, I'll get you all the information. Like I'll give you the link so that you can see all the info and all of the, the facts. And then the link to sign up is there as well. But you get a project every month for $19.99 and you do not have to pay shipping. So it's $19.99 plus tax. You get exclusive transfers in your kit that are not for sale anywhere else. And we do all sorts of awesome incentives for our club customers, our preferred customers. So that's really, um, it's a real great benefit of the program. So go ahead and check it out. It's available in the U.S. and Canada. So check it out. Um, type club in the comments. And then once you do that... You're going to also be um, invited into my preferred customer group where you'll get a few extra goodies and I will always make sure you are aware of the specials. Like last month, all of our preferred customers got sale prices on um, chalk paste, which is amazing. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this. Looks like our glue is ready. Okay. Okay. And I probably want to move this down here now. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue all over the back of this. And press it down. I probably need two hands it down and then I'm using that mat under here so I don't burn myself and hopefully that will be good to go um, I think I'll do this one next okay oh that down with the mat as well. I didn't really mark the place where I need it to go. So hopefully it just is in the right place. Okay, and then this one will go in the center. Um, I do need a little bit of hot glue. Thank you, Kyle, for your awesome hack on how to get your glue to stick in there. So heat it up stick it on and then you have your glue gun okay I'm gonna kind of line up there we go and we're pressing 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 I kind of feel like I want to dirty the edge of this a little bit to match oh yeah I want to dirty the edge a little bit so 
um, let me see if I can do that with this or if I need it to be darker. Let me might work. All right, so I'm going to work this around the edge and get that kind of dirtied up a little. Dirty it up, man. So I'm just doing it here. You'll see when I'm done, it gives it a little finish so the edges aren't so raw. And I may use a cloth to kind of blend it. Well, I can use that dry thing as well. Some of these got a little bit. Okay, so what I'll do is then I'll go back in with this and pull that in. This is a dry brush. If you have an awesome technique that you love, I would love for you to share it with me. Okay, so this should pull it all together. And let's take a look. Hold, please. I have like everything on my hands. All right. Hey, have you ever thought about joining Chalk Couture, even been just a little curious? <laughs> if you have, type team in the comments. I will give you the link to my opportunity group and you can jump in there, check out a video that will give you all the information and then the choice is yours, but if you've ever thought about it, um, type team in the comments. We are um, independent consultants with Chalk Couture, but we're called designers. So what do you think, you guys? Do you like it? I love it. I think it is super, super duper cute. It's going to go great back here on my wall. Yay. So cool. Thank you guys for watching so much. I had so much fun putting this together and showing you um, all the versatility that you can have with our products. Um, join me next time because I have more spring coming this week. All right, guys. Bye-bye.